Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm just heading up to the farmhouse. I just picked up the farmhouse table saw and she's a beauty. We'll have to take a look at it tomorrow because by the time I get up to the farmhouse today it's going to be well after dark. I was going to head up tomorrow, but they're talking, I don't know, they're saying three to possibly six inches of snow tonight. And it was either leave tonight and get there after dark or leave in the morning and have to drive through that snow. So I figured let's get up there today. Well, I've been at this for a while. I went inside for a little bit because tonight LSU is playing playing Clemson. And Melissa and I, we never watch sports, but this is a big deal. And uh, LSU is Louisiana, so she actually got Sling TV just so she could get the game. I was in there watching that a little bit, but when I was coming up here, I was listening to a Cloquet radio station, and they're saying tonight, uh, which is Monday night through Wednesday, we're going to get four to eight inches of snow. So I definitely didn't want to uh, wake up to the saw all covered in the snow. I had to do a whole bunch of shoveling there <laughs> and get the ice up so I could open the door far enough to gain two more inches. And now I think if I do this... Oh, I might be able to get it in the door. I'm going to have to take that side off too. All I want to do tonight is just, uh, I've got it plugged in, I want to fire it up and make sure it works. And we'll take a much better look at this tomorrow. my truck up so I can plug it in. I'm going to run inside. Well, it's a little bit after 10 o'clock. LSU is still ahead right now. I'm not sure when we're going to bed, but um, it's snowing pretty good. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. We got maybe an inch and a half or two inches of snow last night. That's all it really amounted to, but they're still saying, I don't know what it was, three to four or five inches that might happen tonight and tomorrow. I was gonna start the wood stove this morning, but I'm planning on going into Superior and uh, having lunch with Melissa today. So thought I would wait, save the wood. Well, maybe I'll start it up this afternoon. All I did this morning is come out and shoveled all the walks, got the one by the back door salted. No reason to push this with the tractor because we're supposed to get more snow. I'll just do it after that. A couple inches like this, you can just drive over it. I did break one of the shovels this morning. That thing's been cracked for a while, so I'll have to pick up a new one. Well, I'm heading to meet Melissa right now. I'm going to go to her work and pick her up. I think we're going to try a place called, I think it's World of Wings in Superior, Wisconsin.
Well, lunch is done. Heading back into Minnesota now. I'm gonna stop and get a new uh, shovel, and then I'm gonna head to the farmhouse. Well, I'm just going up the hill out of Duluth here, and I'm just listening to the radio. And now they're saying four to six inches of snow tonight uh, is the possible. And then two days from now, eight inches plus. But of course, that'll keep changing. And that's right here in Duluth, too. So that's about, you know, 20 miles from the Cloquet House. And with Lake Superior here, that you get these micro weather climates. So you don't know if you're going to get lake effect or not. But anyway, definitely some snow coming. You can see here when the storms first come through, they just plow the snow to the side of the pavement. And now they've come through and pushed it way back down into the ditch. So on the next storm, they'll have somewhere to push the snow that's falling. I just stopped and paid for a bale of alfalfa. I'm gonna throw that out for the deer. It's been a few weeks since I started up the tractor, so I'm gonna see if she fires up. I would really like to try to get rid of that pile of snow, which I should have done, what, two weeks ago or more? Now it's gonna be so frozen, but um, with more snow coming, it'd be best to try to get that out of the way. Somebody either messaged me or emailed me and has burned one of these stoves before. And you know how it has that, like a catalytic converter thing there that that the gas has come up and then it's supposed to re-burn those so it's real efficient and you get a lot of heat out of it. This here I always keep closed. This is the draft for that second fire. So once I get this up and going, then I'm going to open this a little bit and see what happens as far as more heat coming off or not. It was real interesting because I had no clue what this was for. I'm just waiting for the thermostat to get up to or the thermometer, whatever you want to call that, to get up to 500 degrees. All it says is low in here right now. We'll go push some snow around for a little bit, come back in and see how it's doing.
I got all that snow moved. Melissa came home from work and she parked inside the garage, so that's good. And then I went and started her truck because that hadn't been started in a while and now it's been running for almost a half hour. Oh, well, it's nice and warm in here anyway. That should be good for another week or two. Melissa has a big pot of eggs boiling in there. We're getting so many eggs and we want to pickle some. So uh, I don't know how many she has in there. It's a pretty big pot. Well, it's down to 14 outside and it's up to 52 in here. I'm just about to go inside. It's about a quarter to nine right now. All I did was switch out some lights here. It's getting nice and bright. I like it. Over here, I'm going to add one more that'll go parallel with the wall. And I'm definitely, I talked about it before, but I'm definitely going to put a workbench here. I think I want, the thing that's going to kind of determine it is I have to get, I want to get a window in here. I could do the exact same thing I did over there. Uh, over the top of the workbench I want to build over on this side but if possible if there's not one of those steel steel poles going up that holds the steel beams I would like to get one right there one of the doubles that can open uh, we'll see I, I, I've been trying to poke nails in there and try to find that steel beam that post but I, I haven't found it yet but I want to have one here that is like about three feet that's out 27 inches then I want to jump it out to about 42 inches for four feet, then jump it back to the 27 for another, you know, three feet. When I was switching out one of the lights here, I lost a light bulb. <laughs> I got glass all over. I'm not going to clean it up tonight. I've got to get inside, but uh, tomorrow I'll hopefully get it. Uh, tomorrow now I have to drive Melissa to Baxter, Minnesota. She has an appointment there at 11:30, and that's about a two-hour drive. So. Not sure how tomorrow is going to go, but maybe I'll get back out here. That's a lot of hard boiled eggs. Oh, it's a little bit after 10 o'clock. Just letting Joni out for the last time here. It's just about time for bed. Good morning, everybody. It looks like we have company out there, but I have to go out there and start my truck. I've been up for a while now. I already showered and everything. Melissa's in there drying her hair. 
and pretty soon we're going to head out. Well, we had a change of plans. Melissa's appointment was now switched to next Thursday. I'll drive her up on that day. I went out and started the wood stove in the workshop. I've just been putzing her a little bit out there. And uh, it's up to like 39 degrees, so it's still cold. But it's really starting to snow. We were supposed to go out to eat today, but since the plans changed, I guess I'll have to improvise. I have some onion in there, green pepper, these are venison steaks from the deer I shot this fall, this last fall. I just put them in the microwave for a couple minutes to thaw them out. They had a sale on this is reduced, but it's uh, ground pork. This is a pound, cost it a dollar sixty-four. That's pretty good. <laughs> and adding this pork is going to be really nice because the venison has no fat in it really, and pork has a lot of fat, so it should pair pretty good together. Cut up some red potatoes and throw it in there, and you're talking a good meal. Get some seasoning on here. Definitely want some garlic powder. Well, I would say this is ready to go on the stove. Almost lunchtime. Starting to smell pretty good in here. Not bad for the first uh, meal out in the workshop. That's really good.
I'm just about to bring that food back into the house and that earless dough. I wish that this camera had a zoom on it like my uh, Handycam does. I see the earless is there and there's another deer there too. through this wall trying to find those steel beams where they are and there is one that is right here and I couldn't find anything in here until I get to right here so what I'm thinking is these I don't know if these barns were sold as a kit or I have no idea but if it wasn't going to be a cattle barn if it was just going to be a pole barn for storage you would have put a higher ceiling in it you would have had your posts farther apart so you could drive your tractors and stuff in to store them. So that's what I'm guessing what it is. And I kind of wanted to put a window here, but with a post here, I can't do it. And so what I think I'm going to do, I was talking to Melissa about this, we might wait until I get a smaller window that I can put in here to open. I want to have that workbench going in here. I want it to be at least 10 feet, maybe 11 feet wide. And I don't want to put a big pane of glass right here because when I build this outside part that used to be there, that wall is going to end somewhere in here. So, and the, the thing is, as soon as you put a window in like that, you have nothing to put on the wall there. It's not super important that I see outside the front. I, I have side view, which is great. I can look out the front uh, door. So I think I'm just gonna, no window here at all, put in the workbench. Also, when I, with something that big, if, if I run the, uh, the dust collection system, there's gonna have to be a pipe that comes down and I here I can just come here and it can go right, it's not gonna be over the window, which would drive me crazy. So tomorrow I'm gonna come out here and I might actually work on this. What I like about the workshop is, when I come out here that day, what kind of a mood am I in? I can do that. Like, you know, two weekends ago, I had nothing, I wanted nothing to do with putting in the window. And then I come out here the one day and it's like, you know what, I want to put windows in. So right now I want to do this workbench, but it's getting late. I still have to uh, switch my tumbling and polishing rocks. I need to go from step two to step three, and that's going to take probably half hour, 45 minutes yet today. So maybe we'll work on this tomorrow. I definitely want to have it shorter and then come out, go back, and then shorter, and back in. That's how I want this workbench. Then you can walk in here, and it doesn't all come out. You kind of feel like it flows, and you go wherever you need to go. Right now it is zero outside. It's 66 in here. It was up to 73. I think that's the, I think that might have been the warmest I've had it in here. And now tonight the skies are clear. It's going to get down to something like 18 below. The wind chill in the morning is going to be minus 30. And then it's going to be pretty clear tomorrow. And then Friday night into Saturday into Saturday night, now they're talking 8 to 10 to 12 inches of snow. So we'll just see what happens. The tractor is ready. Well, I'm going to run inside. Melissa and I already went out and did chores, did all the cats. Uh, there was four eggs in the chicken coop. I didn't grab the eggs, though. <laughs> we were out there and we stopped there and I gave the chickens water and then we had to go into the garage and check the cat um, coolers. We even made one more cooler today and put it in the little outside part of the, um, of the cat trailer just in case there's one loose, there's a nice warm place. I think now we have five coolers going each way. More than five, but five of them that have those heating pads in it. So yeah, it's a... Uh, They'll be toasty no matter what. Good night, everybody. I was going to bring the camera outside. It might only be four below, but that wind is blowing. It is cold out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I think I'm going to end this video on this chilly morning. Uh, I've already had a lot of content here. I'm going to be up here for a few more days and we have the big snowstorm coming. So that would make for a very long video if I keep it in with this one. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a separate video on the, uh, the new table saw for the workshop. Just a shorter video. And the next video is going to be the farmhouse workshop adding another workbench. I will see you guys on the next video.